We are following a developing story out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where three officers have been killed by gunfire and three others have been wounded. Now, this all happened in a city already on edge after the high profile death of a black man shot dead by Baton Rouge police just weeks ago. In this video that captured the confrontation, nine individual shots can be heard over a period of 40 seconds and then what sounds like a barrage of gunfire. One suspect is deceased. Multiple officers were shot. We do have some that have been killed. The situation began unfolding this morning when police received a call about a suspicious person with an assault rifle walking down Baton Rouge's airline highway. Authorities say the man opened fire when police arrived. The surrounding area was locked down. We're on lockdown at the moment. We cannot leave. And even if we could leave, the police are blocking down the street. Overhead, a police helicopter was called in for support. Since the shooting death of Alton Sterling by Baton Rouge police earlier this month, the department has worried about credible threats against officers. Just two weeks ago, five members of the Dallas police force were ambushed by a sniper during a peaceful gathering to protest the police shootings of Sterling and another black man in Minnesota. And area residents have been shaken to the core by the events that unfolded around them. I'm, I'm really stunned. I, I, I never, I never, just stunned. And today, U.S. President Barack Obama said that this has happened far too often and nothing justifies an attack on law enforcement. The death of these three brave officers underscores the danger that police across the country confront every single day. Attacks on police are an attack on all of us and the rule of law that makes society possible. Well, authorities say the shooter was killed at the scene and he is believed to be the only gunman. At this point, the motive for the attack is still unknown. The family of Alton Sterling, who was shot at close range by Louisiana police after he was pinned to the ground earlier this month, is calling for the violence to stop. When these people call these families, they tell them that their daddies and their mama's not coming home no more. I know how they feel because I got the same phone call. No justice, no justice, no peace. That's what we're calling for. Stop this killing. Stop this killing.